On behalf of the Eckert and Alexander family, I would just like to thank you all for being here. It truly means the world to this wonderful couple to have you here, and today would not be possible without each one of you. I would also like to say that this Bull Valley Reception Hall looks amazing. A special thank you to Laura and Caden's parents for throwing such a wonderful reception. All right, for those of you who don't know me, I am Virgin Arnes, one of Laura's cousins. As a bridesmaid, today I would just like to take a moment to share a few stories with you. Firstly, I would like to share some stories about Laura. Secondly, I'd like to share some stories about Caden. And finally, I would like to explain to you guys how awesome this amazing couple is. Growing up, Laura and I spent about every weekend together. We were more than we were more like sisters than cousins. Laura would come over to her house about every weekend, and one of our fondest memories was when we would go outside and collect sparrows. We got this great idea that we were going to save the world and collect all these sparrows. One night, we decided, my brother Trent and I, Allison and Laura, all decided to go out and save the 500 baby sparrows. We threw them all in one large basket. The next morning when we woke up, we realized we did more harm than help. Today we look back and laugh at that funny story about collecting the baby sparrows. It is one that will stick with us forever. Between, between camping, hunting, fishing, running around on the farm, begging Doug to let Laura come to Crofton because the Yankton school lunches were bad, and just hanging out, there has never been a skip to beat. Although we will always be kids at heart, there came a day when things got a little bit more serious. And Laura came to me and asked me and talked to me about what she wanted in a guy. She explained she wanted somebody who was loyal, trustworthy, hardworking. And so I would throw out names like so-and-so and so-and-so, and, -so and none of them really stuck. Then it came a day where Laura was acting a little different. She came up to me and she's like, Bridget, I think I found somebody. And I was like, no, you didn't. You didn't find anybody. And she's like, yes, I did. But the one thing I noticed about her, there was a sparkle in her eye that I'd never seen before. We spent so much time together and I'd never seen the sparkle. So she went on about this Caden kid. She talked about how hard working he was and how athletic he was and how he made her laugh. And, and I knew right from that day forward that he was the one. Caden, you saw all my hangout time with Laura. I could go on and on and on about stories about me and Laura. That was really a connecting point for us. Kate, when Kate was brought into Laura's life, something changed. Now that I've shared a few things with you about Laura, I would now like to explain some about Caden. Caden came into our life a few years back when my brothers used to play him in baseball. Caden was this rather good player, and my brothers would always say, oh, this Caden Alexander kid, I don't want to pitch to him tonight. He's too good. He's going to slam home runs on me. Once they got over their fear of who Caden Alexander was, they finally met the kid and realized how nice he was. I clearly remember my brother Trent saying one day, Caden Alexander, the nicest kid you'll ever meet. And I would like to second that too today, Caden. I think you are one of the most outstanding guys and perfect for Laura. Caden, you bring so much to this family, you have no idea. You bring a sense of humor that none of us have. You bring a hard, working, hard work ethic. And more importantly, you make Laura one of the happiest girls in the world. I have never seen her eyes light up so much as they do today. Now that you know a little bit about Caden, and you know a little bit about Laura, I want to explain how awesome this couple is. When you say the words loving, caring, respectful, um, loyal, those are all things, they all sound like simple things. But when you look at the simple things, that's what makes a marriage work. And I could go on and on with a list of 500 that would explain this couple. But those few things that I said are what they are very good at. Caden and Laura bring out each other's strengths and weaknesses. They bring out each other's good days and bad days. And the best part about it is they never, ever pick each other apart. They're always using stuff to bring each other together. I also think that Caden and Laura will make truly amazing parents. I mean, seriously, if any of you have seen their dogs, those dogs are like treated like gold, and I can just see that when they have kids. They're going to treat their kids like they treat each other. That unending love that they have for each other will flourish. Kate and Laura, God truly had a plan for you two. The day you walked on this earth, or the day you two walked on this earth, he knew that you guys were going to meet each other. It is truly remarkable that he brought you two together. 
I want you to remember on your bad days, for better or for worse, and think of how God brought you together and keep that unending love between each other because it is truly something that is contagious. Now, if you would all join me in raising your glasses to Caden and Laura as we toast this newly new, the newlyweds, Caden and Laura, as you go about on this life together, take each day and make it last. Focus on the love between each other. Put all your hobbies, jobs, adventures second. If you do these things, you will never have a broken relationship. Cherish your kids like you cherish each other. You will find love through your kids. As you go about your adventure, take each day, make it last. Take all the little steps, make all the memories, and know that God is with you. I want to thank you for letting me be a part of your special day. To Kate and Laura Alexander.